A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, Gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song is, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. not your hearts. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform your righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets to win the praises of others. Amen, I say to you, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your alms given may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogue and on the street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your father in secret. And your father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearances so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. Palabra de Dios. Brothers and sisters, we have begun our Lenten observance. We have begun our Lenten season, 40 days, grueling days of fasting, of almsgiving, and of prayer. Each year, the church gives us this opportunity of a long retreat. The 40 days of Lent is a retreat. It's a long journey. A long journey with Jesus who invites us into the desert, into the wilderness. The Gospel of Mark says Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert, into the wilderness. And there he was tempted by Satan. But angels ministered to him. So as the days begin to lengthen, leading into the, the short nights, the church wants us to keep our fast, to fast from sin, to fast from bitterness, from anger, from being gossipy, to fast from those things that divide and separate families, churches, and one another. The church wants us to be holy. Each and every one of us is called to holiness. And holiness is simply defined as trying to be like God struggling to be perfect like Jesus Christ. The prophet Joel says in the first reading, proclaim a solemn fast, a holy assembly, everybody is invited, children, infants, adults, elderly, young and old. All of us are called upon in this holy season to tell God, mia kopa, mia kopa, mia maxima kopa. To tell God, through my fault, through my fault, through my fault, through my grievous fault, we have all sinned and we are in need of God's mercy. As a sign of God's mercy today in this Mass, we are going to bless the ashes, the palm branches from last year's Easter, and then the ashes will be imposed on our foreheads while the priest says to you, repent change your ways. All we need to do is just to ask the grace of God to repent, to change, to have what we call metanoia. Metanoia means complete turn around. That is metanoia. The Hebrew word means change. Turn around. 
from sin to goodness, from evil to goodness, to righteousness, to righteous deeds. The Lord asks us to be ambassadors for Christ. Paul told the Corinthians, this is the acceptable time. This is the time. You know, when we go to watch the soccer games, we say, go Irish, go Irish. I say to you, go Lent. Go Lent, go fasting, go pray, go give alms. The gospel tells us what we need to do in Lent. Very simple. Three things we are called upon to practice. Number one, to pray and to pray properly. So our prayers are not supposed to be sure, you know, let people say, oh, he prayed so much. No. Get into your inner room, spend quality time on your knees with God in prayer. And as we pray, we begin to know more of God, and God also begins to know us more. So we open our hearts to God in prayer. We begin to learn to change from the place of prayer. So the first thing in Lent is to pray. And to read your Bible, to study the Word of God, to meditate, to get off social media, to get off technology and internet, to avoid Snapchat, YouTube videos, Facebooking, Instagramming, and TikToking, to get to know God more. The second pillar of Lent is to fast. So I ask you, what do you want to fast from? Your God, sugar, beer, movies, sin, lust, immorality, nude videos, pornography, drugs, addiction, to fast from those things. To step away, to be dedicated to God. And when you fast, you gain discipline. For those of you and those of us who kept a fast today, you know what it means. All kinds of temptation. Today, my refrigerator kept calling me. I had to struggle to say, hey, no. The refrigerator would say, come, have some fruits. It's just fruits. I have to say, no. You need to fast and gain discipline and self-mastery. And then when you fast, what is left from the fasting goes for charity, for almsgiving. To help the needy, the poor, the troubled, those in our society that are hungry and hurting. So we are called to give arms. And this all sum up to our penance in this holy campaign that we do each year. So I encourage you, my dear friends, on this 14th of February, that we celebrate Arch Wednesday and Valentine. The young people are not in church. They are everywhere with their flowers and uh, red colors. And it's okay. They are always young people. But the greatest love is the love that suffers. Love is suffering. Love is sacrifice. Love always wills the good of the other. That's what love does. And when you spell Valentine, there is length in it. I just discovered that. V A L E N T, Lent, I N E, Valentine. So it means each year we celebrate Valentine. We should remember there's Lent in Valentine. The greatest form of love is to sacrifice. For God so loved the world that he gave up everything. Oh, that today you hear his words, adding not your hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bow our heads in a few minutes. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace 
these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence and repentance. O oh God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure, to celebrate the Paschal mysteries of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We will now file out everybody to receive the ashes while we will sing, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom. You know Ben is not here, so all of us will be the mass choir.
Brothers and sisters, let us turn to the Lord and pray for the grace to be able to go through the motions and the season of Lent. For the church, during this Lenten season, may we experience a new God's faithfulness. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who govern nations, may God bless them with an abundance of wisdom and moral courage. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from chronic illness, pain, or disease, may the healing consolation of Christ bring them comfort and relief. Let us pray to the Lord. For all members of this faith community, may the grace of the sacraments purify and heal our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, having lived in Christ, may they come to share in the fullness of his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. we now hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers of your people, those spoken out and those kept in the silence of our hearts. Answer them in so far as they conform to your holy will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, God of our creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread to offer you, which it has given in human hands has made it to become our bread of life. Blessed are you, God of our creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine to offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we solemnly offer this annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins, we may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We leave them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. I do to your salvation always every way to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, you are faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to fullness of grace that you bestow in your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and with the thrones and archangels and dominions, with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Grind it holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and then turned willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Este misterio de la fe, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer our Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We're giving you thanks. You heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity. Together, our Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray. Now to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, St. John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to bequest eternal life and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us arise and say the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we will always be free from sin. And safe from all distress. As we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom be found. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. And you say, we told his peccant seven days, miserere nobi. And you say, we told his peccant seven days, miserere Behold, the Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy.
Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our lengthy fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for coming for Mass and happy Valentine's Day to all of you and happy Ash Wednesday. I also like your crosses. You guys look beautiful. I always try to give very big crosses so that when people see you, they say, oh, what's going on? I say, yes, I'm a Catholic, okay? You just have a few hours to use them. Those who came in the morning, I gave them very generous crosses to carry for the day. Thank you for being here. I know that there was some confusion with the timing. Some people thought the mass was six. On the notice board, it is six. One of the bulletins had six, another had five. So after this Mass, I'm going to celebrate another Mass again for six, for those who are going to come late, or those who are going to come on time, late, but late on time, where well, that's what it means to be a priest and a father. Enjoy the rest of your evening. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael.